brilliant tactical planning and now I'm gonna start the Mass Effect 3 where I left off Mass Effect 2 that is using Legion and Thane can't stop those two Legion awesome Thane awesome me most definitely freaking awesome when I'm playing as Commander Shepard I call him Adrian Shepard I forgot was what, what was his normal name I forget I named him Adrian Shepard because that's what came to my mind since I had been playing uh, Half-Life um, in uh, Opposing Force when I played Mass Effect 2. Oh, this is part where he teaches about superpowers. I'm sorry for blocking that out. Basically, way of the Force. Humans are super powerful. It's awesome. But this is the part where I like it because then we get the RPG element, so... I can start leveling up my auto, I can get the auto heal, start leveling up my melee, and then we start gaining the superpowers, and eventually I'll never need a gun again. Just to, I'll just have the double call spear on my back with the full 180 ammo. Huh. Yep. I bow to the sensei. See the shell. Which one? There's multiple. Punk. Now that one. The one with the magic aura around it. Huh. The force is strong with this one, Luke. No idea. And they've got like the epic music. He couldn't hold it. I have never been able to sustain it for so long. <laughs> he could he could barely lift the shell up. Like, we start by flinging rocks. And through their presence shall all be made strong. Interesting. So we're a super powerful thing and an amplifier. I never noticed the amplifier thing when I played it the first time. That's new. See, so you learn something every playthrough. And then we're just like, up, down, up, down, up, down. <coughs> Dude, don't get this hard. You had it up in the air for longer than the master. Hmm. Wait, where's Ethan in all of this? There he is. He's like, why can't I get psychic powers? And he's got like the bright blue force aura around it. Ethan, what are you doing, man? Oh, quit being all broody. Up, oh, Tai Chi. Tai Chi, it's universal. What up? Wait, are they on the outside of the ship? Oh no, they're like in the engine room. It's like they're out in the ship with no air. I don't think you get that until like the last level. Yeah, you two stand there and look awesome. And they've got like the epic montage music in the background. You, you cheater, you're supposed to juggle like normal. No psychic powers are allowed, punk. <coughs> and it's like a big show for everybody. They call out the entire ship to watch this. Okay, now we get to learn how to use it. Proceed to dojo. Smack it. Bam. Jump through like the water door. I wish there was like objective arrows and stuff. There's not though. Okay, so down here. Here's the dojo. That was easy. Bang. Jump in the water. Okay. I can't hear him. Testing my psychic powers. Yeah, I'll stay and prove myself. Lift one of these pillars, exalted one. Lift it with your mind. Um.
Yes, I will stay and prove myself. <laughs> just slinging stuff around. School Aurelians. Can't you just say, like, beat the Aurelians? You had to say school? Ooh, mastery level two. That was way too quick. Boom. Bam. Get owned. <laughs> He's probably like, put me down, you punk. No. <laughs> Bam. Having way too much fun doing that. Come on. Get yourself down here. You don't want your bad self, man. Bam. You got smacked. They're your brightest pupils. I got them by force slapping them around. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I get to learn how to... Let's slap you around a bit, too. Oh, not this again. Okay. Never mind, I thought the mouse glitch was in full force. Bam! Got force slapped. Okay. It's like Spaz is out for a little, little bit. Hey, <sighs> you got smacked around, fool. Up uh, two at once. Multi lift mode unlocked. Stop destroying my weapons, man. Bam. It's like just slap you in the wall. Get up. <laughs> Come here. I want a melee fight. Oh, jumping mastery. Le yeah, jumping mastery. Yes, you get stuff by jumping around. Something about the culmination of ancient scripture. Blah, 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 blah. Orson Scott Card wrote it. Let's go. Now we gotta find the bridge with no marker help. You got schooled. You got schooled. You two are awesome. You stood guard. They were smart enough to not jump in there and get cocky and be like, like, I would be proud to say I beat a human. It's like, it's like, derp, 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 derp. You're not getting to beat a human. I won't let you. Because if I'm the human you're sparring with, I'm going to beat you senseless. Good or slap time. you against the wall. Coming out of hyperspace? Hey, look. Kind of looks like Earth. So did the other one. Hmm, what's this place? see before you my home world. Uh, their home world. The famed cool. beauty of the undying seas await us. Aurelia, I guess. Up, oh, Seekers. Commander, Seeker Destroyer off Starman. They're charging weapons. Don't you know not to attack people right next to their house? It's like you're right next to their planet. Saran, bring us inside their firing radius. Close enough to See this guy's cool. Crew are ordered to don their vacuum gear and so we just drop ship. My brave warriors, what lays and we just run out and start attacking him. Wait a lives. second. There's like there was five humans there. We only have three. What what happened here? Hmm. So we just jump on there and start wailing on them. Aren't we a bunch of brave little punks? Well, I'll look cool in my tack armor, vacuum gear, whatever.
But yeah, this is a good stopping point. So this is Jet Leo. I'll see you next time. Um, what button was that? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm a noob. I forgot what button. Oh yeah, jump. Epic jump, but I forgot what button my cutoff thing is. So, see you next time. Word out.